What is going on guys, I'm your boy Sully. Today I'm back, as you can see, we're playing some more Black Ops 3 on the PlayStation 4. And what I'm going to do today is hop into some Salvation gameplay playlist, whatever you want to call it, on Black Ops 3. If you don't know what Salvation is, it is the new collection of maps in the fourth DLC of Black Ops 3. It includes Citadel, which is a remake of Outskirts from World of War, and it also includes Outlaw, which is a remake of... Standoff from Black Ops 2. Standoff is one of my favourite maps from Black Ops 2 along with Raid, which I also redid for Empire. Um, and it honestly, I've, I haven't played it yet. It looks awesome. Um, I'm hoping there's some spots and like routes that haven't changed too much from the original, because that would be awesome. But on Citadel, what I believe they've done is they've included vehicles, because I know on the original in World of War there were like tanks and things, so I'd rather play that than Ono. Oh, Oh, I got that completely wrong. Citadel isn't the remake. Rupture's the remake, and it has, like, tanks um, where you effectively hop in robots as opposed to tanks and walk around in those. You can use them with rockets and things like that, just like there was in the original World of War Max. So that's quite awesome. But we haven't got any of the remakes. We've got Citadel, which out of the four maps, I believe, is the one that people don't really like as much. So I'm hoping we get a good game in. From what I've seen on, like, YouTube and things... Looks quite a lot like the Mike Myers map from COD Ghosts. I can't remember what it was called off the top of my head. But there was an Easter egg where if you did one of the field orders in COD Ghosts, you could become Mike Myers, um, as in the character from the film, and you run around with an axe in the woods and kill people. Um, so hopefully Citadel is a good map. We've got a domination game, so this will be quite a long video, um, <laughs> depending on how it goes. We have two scythes, two or three scythes, two arrow, two sparrows, and gravity spikes on our team against three heat waves, a cyclotis, annihilator, and gravity spikes. So, oh, based off the fact of weapons as specialists, we should win. Um, with it being domination as a respawn game mode, that's probably what will help you out more. Um, I think I'm going to run. Oh, I didn't want to pick my sniper, HVK, and no one has gone to see already. Wow, this looks a lot smaller than they normally do weird but yeah really odd looking map a lot going on a weird snake tunnel thing here nice looking castle there oh you can see in that window hmm I means someone could come up behind me quite easily but yeah they really did quite well like with the maps especially with the remakes like incorporating the new movement system into them the rehashes of the maps that were originally in Call of Duty games have been done ridiculously well. Oh my god, you can go up here. It's called Weiss. Someone jumping around me. Wow, I don't know why I was aiming down my side then. If I hit fired, I'd have had him, but yeah, not too bad of a start to this game. Someone's going to be up there, so. Oh my god, the nade, it's perfect. Give me that revenge kill, boy. But yeah, really liking the look of this map so far. It does play quite well. It has a lot of weird routes to it, but I mean, you could probably get used to them quite easily. Wow. We still losing B? No, we got it. It's all good. I'm glad my team has actually started off quite well. Uh, that would have been a worry with it being a new map. People trying to explore and shit like that. Oh my god, dude. Come on. But yeah, not any particular thing I wanted to talk about with this gameplay. Just really wanted to see what some of the new maps were like. Um... Not sure why this has such bad flak, or why, or actually considering the other maps that they've made for this DLC, I understand why people don't enjoy it as much. Um, with Outskirts, it looked really awesome. Um, I imagine it would play quite well as well. If it plays anything like the original Outskirts, then it would do, especially for large games like Dom and Hardpoint and things like that. I think Hardpoint would be awesome to play on that map, actually, so... Yo, these people aren't dying. Get 
please tell me I wasn't a sniper. Oh, I didn't even get to see. But yeah, Citadel seems like a good map. Um, there's also Micro, which is like a really weird map. The most gimmicky thing they've come out with as like a map. Personally, I think anyway. Uh, it looks cool. I don't know what the gameplay would be like on it, but they like essentially you've been shrunk and you're at or like on a tabletop barbecue, like a family eat out or something. Oh my god, that dude has been destroyed by me so many times this game. I would not be happy if I was him. Oh, if I did it again, that would have been so bad. But yeah. The new maps, they've done okay with this one. This is the first COD that I like bought a DLC for, or Season Pass for even. Uh, usually I'd just buy DLCs randomly if I wanted maps, or, or if I wanted some of the um, maps or whatever, like I was saying. Um, but yeah, <laughs> first time I bought the Season Pass, it's been okay. Um, nothing too exciting with the maps in my opinion. Um, they could have done better with the game, I think, in terms of some of the maps they made, but not too bad, I guess. I don't really feel like I wasted my money, I just wish I'd have bought it on a diff like different COD instead. Like, if I did it for Black Ops 2 or something, um, that would have been quite cool, or, um... Nah, not AW. AW would have been a waste. Maybe Ghosts. I didn't really see too many of the Ghosts uh, maps, like DLCs. I don't actually think I've got any on that game. I'm sorry, but I'm actually playing really well. And it looks like we're going to go in half time with them on around 70 points, and we'll be on. Or they'll be on 74 if things stay the exact same way as they are now. I seem to be able to get into their spawn really easily, and that's the only worrying thing. Um, like, I literally go down one flank and I'm in their spawn. But yeah, the game, this map, like, has played quite well so far. I'm enjoying it. He shouldn't have pulled his scythe out then. <laughs> that was, like, way too late into the half. Um... But yeah, as I've said probably multiple times in this video, I'm really enjoying it. Um, like I said, it would have been nice to try out Outlaw or what's the other one? Rupture? Honestly, I don't even know what they're called. And at the time it is in the morning, that's probably the least of my worries right now. But yeah, I like the whole design of this map. It looks cool. And obviously their main focus when making these maps isn't just to make it look good, it's to design it well, so it plays well. Um, not as a potential um, potential competitive map, because that's obviously not their focus anymore with like champs being done and whatnot. Um, but if it was... Oh wait, we flipped spawns. Eat my gold. Okay, snip out, snip out, snip out. I should not have challenged him like that. Come on, guys, we need to sort this out. Oh nice, I finally got that um, emblem, medal, whatever you want to call it. Oh man, come on, anyone else is on the hill with me there, we've caught that. They're on the flank of the room. Get off my heel, boy. You don't want to get killed, boy.
Yeah, I'll pop on it on Nimca. Mm -hmm. Well, I scared the life out of me. You may have seen me jump in my webcam then. That was genuine fear. I don't know why I jumped, I just did. Alright, let's go. What? What are you doing there, dude? As you can see, I'm going off this game. I'm really enjoying it. I like playing um, things like Dom and Hardpoint because I love playing the objective on those sort of game modes. Talon, man, kill him. Shit got destroyed instantly. Fucking hell. Wow. Apologies for going silent. I really don't want to lose this game and we're going to if things stay as they are. So we need to get another flag pretty much. Otherwise the game is up. Oh you can actually hit up the water here. Oh. Come on, man, there's one guy on it. Fucking teammates, man. Now it defends, caps, kills. Nothing more I can do for this team. It's going to suck Like if we lose this game, and like it is, we will. Fuck's sake, man. I need to stop swearing as well on my YouTube videos. I've noticed that. Um... Especially with this like new YouTube policy thing of um, having to be advertiser friendly to have your videos monetized and shit. But I don't make much from my YouTube. I mean, still have to make as much as possible, you know. <laughs> so yeah, this game is about to end. Literally, next couple of seconds here. There we go. It sucked that we lost the game. I came second overall on the leaderboard, had the most defends and caps on my team as second most kills because um, one of my guys just went off. But yeah, really did enjoy Citadel as a map. I said, it, oh, he got a collat to finish it off. That's deep. But yeah, really did enjoy Citadel as a map. I did say at the start, it's probably out of the four maps, the one that people want to play the least. But after playing that, I don't really see why. For Domination especially, especially Probably the most symmetrical map I've played apart from Fringe on this game. You have the two outer lanes, the middle hill, and that is that. <laughs> the most simplistic style of map, and it played so well. Looked absolutely awesome. Love the fact that there's back alleys where you can incorporate the movement. It isn't thrown at you too much, like it is for the majority of this game. Wall running isn't too like prevalent in it, which is why I think I enjoyed it quite a lot. And, yeah, really did enjoy that. Um... I'll try to get some more of the deal for you guys. If you did enjoy, then as always, do be sure to leave a like. I've been your boy Sully. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and peace.